Also, it's Jack Holder out of gate number two that's made a superb start. Here comes Bartos Smolzi. Oh, 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 down! Oh, and it's a heavy crash. Wow, he ran out of room there. Drama. Championship leader, world champion, off the bike. At the back speed of speed at that point on the track. Always well. up. Good news. I think he is. I think Jack Holder's in front. He's chosen his line. He actually hasn't gone right to the fence. Admittedly, the handbars actually have hit the back there of uh, Jack Holder's bike. But it would be really harsh to say that Jack Holder's done anything wrong there. He knows he's there. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse, eh? Could have been. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, he was sort of lucky off the bike done a big, the way, big bonus there because uh, he's high speed. Jack Holder coming across hard, but he has the right to. He's out in front. Not a lot of room. Yeah. But fortunately for him, he'll be just uh, a little bit shocked, but uh, he's OK. There's the confirmation. He is excluded from the rerun. In front of his home crowd here this evening, heat number four then. Tapes up, we're underway. Gate number three with Jakob Torsell just about getting there alongside Anders Thompson, but creeping around the inside. He's Lingwood! Oh. Lingwood, what a first turn from him! Oh! oh. Jakob Torsell slammed into the fence down the back straight. Just to see exactly what went on, and, and an exclusion will be coming. Yeah, makes a decent start from gate three. Works quite well tonight so far. There, that's what sort of unsettles everything. Freddie Lingwood makes a Massive charge off the corner, up the inside in blue. Actually moves over a little earlier than perhaps you would expect him to. That really caught Anders Thompson out. No blame there. And of course, the one on the outside has no room left whatsoever. And that's Jakob Torsell goes down quite hard. Well, oh, the catalyst there may well have been uh, Freddy. Yeah, it was. It was definitely Freddy yeah, Lingren. Freddy. Moved over quicker than you would have thought he would have done. Yeah, no fault. This is going to be a tough call, actually, for the referee, because some. Um, uh, Jakob Torsell really was an innocent victim there. Yeah. He just had nowhere to go at all, and it'll be hard on him if he is excluded, but very hard. Oh. There, Anders Thompson's been moved over, no fault of his own. He's rattled into Jakob Torsell. That's just knocked him sideways. The wow. foot peg, handlebars, everything had gone into the fence. Freddie Lingren. And, uh, Here we go then, heat number eight. Tapes are up, and uh, Mikkel Mikkelsen out of gate number two has made a superb start. Torsell, though, with that run round the outside, that's fabulous for him. He jets, propels himself to the front. Mikkelsen in second place, Bewley coming through in third, but Wuffenden there, right round the inside, goes from last to second. Smart move from a former champion. Now he once again, he's gone round the inside. Is it going to work? No, Torsell just about hanging on out in front. Bewley now, Bewley trying to creep up the inside. You can throw a blanket over second, third, and fourth. Mikkelsen far too wide. That just isn't working in turns three and four, but Torsell now having to ride defensively because um, uh, Wuffenden coming on strong. The outside line really is looking quite a challenge. Look at Bewley there. Bewley really wide, but very vulnerable to going backwards. Wuffenden, though, coming on strong. Yeah, when you try and elect to ride around the fence, you do leave a big, big hole up the inside. Bewley riding a little bit more. Wuffenden! Big track. Doesn't normally work, but Wuffenden Yeah, just made his way to the front. Jakob Torsell had got a bit defensive, but a great ride from Wuffenden. Brilliant ride from Ty Wuffenden. Big race for Wuffenden here, needs points badly. Yeah. Tapes are up. And uh, Smarslick's made a nice start on the inside, fires himself to the front. Robert Lambert, though, is very, very threatening on the outside. Can he make it? Not quite. Chops back to the inside, or tries to, but uh, Smarslick's got it covered. I tell you what, Smarslick's riding around on the concrete. Yeah, he's, he's riding a different track here, because Robert Lambert coming on strong here, putting all sorts of pressure on the championship leader. But how on earth does Smarslick do it? He's just refusing to allow Robert Lambert to come round him. Yeah, it's rare to see Smarslick riding so defensive. He's riding through gate three, very narrow down the straight. He clearly doesn't feel he's got the Lambert's speed. On the him. other hand, Robert Lambert has. He's done him around the outside. Oh! oh, oh no, there we go again. <laughs> Smarslick working the outside. Just will not be denied the championship leader. Bartow Smarslick once again showing great determination. Lambert nearly running into the back of him. What a race this is. Man, Robert Lambert trying to force his way through, but Smarslick unbelievably wins that race. He's 16 to Bartos Smarslick. Oh, 
Marshall just uh, keeping an eye on riders. Settling down then. Semi final number one. Here in Manila tonight. Tapes are up, we're underway. Frick, but it's Lingren. Lingren's made it out of gate number two. Perfect from here. Here comes Holder. Holder around the outside. Oh, tight down the back straight. Bewley now coming into third place. I thought they were going to clash there. Bewley's made it through. What a move from Dan Bewley, and Holder's gone from second to the back. Wow, I didn't see that coming, but Dan Bewley, right place, right time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh Freddie Lingren out. once again out of shape, out of gate, uh, turn number two. Bewley looking very threatening in second place. Yeah, Bewley's got to be smart and wise now. He's just got to creep around the inside. He cannot afford to. Oh, oh. once again, Lingren's got brave with that setup. But Bewley's got to be careful. He can't overcommit. He's got to just stay there. Second place will do him. Tied out in front, Freddie Lingren with a couple of mistakes. Bike turning almost inside out there, certainly a bit of a handful out in front. One lobster blast round the final corner, and Freddie really has had to work there, but a good ride from Bewley, and Bewley swings for his first final. Here we go then, second semi-final. Who's going to make the final here in Middle tonight? Martin Vasilik. What a start. Fantastic. He chose right. He was confident. It works out. Do it yeah. around the outside. Yeah. Here he comes. Can he get to the front? What a return to four for Patrick Dudek. Marto Smarslik now under pressure from Robert Blair, but Dudek's in the front. What a ride from him. Fantastic stuff from him, but Smarslik, can he do anything about it? Can he make the final here this evening? Uh, Dudek, if he can hang on to this, will be on his way to his first final of the year, but uh, Martin Vashlik's got to ride smart. We haven't seen Smarslik riding around the outside. It's a rare night for him, not feeling too confident with the bike underneath him, but uh, he's not going to give up. Marcel Smarslik with just over a lap to go to find his way. He's coming on, he's winding it on. Martin Vassal is going to have to ride with eyes in the back of his head. Down the back straight for the last time. It's going to be awfully difficult for Smarslik. Surely he can't get through now. No, he misses out. Patrick Dudek. Four big laps to uh, conclude the event here in Manila. Green lights on, tapes are up, and Vashlik's oh, made a super it. start on the inside. Lingwin now having to go wide, Dudek up the inside. Here comes Bewley trying to square it off. He's in the third. Is he into second? He's going to follow Vashlik through, is he? Yes, he is. Um, Lingwin now trying to respond. How did he do that? Gets himself back into second place. But what a start from Vashlik. Yeah, great start from Vashlik. He actually out Freddie, Freddie Lindgren. He just <laughs> kept the wheels in line right down by the curve. Found that grip that Freddie Lindgren has been using all night. And uh, Bewley's coming back now. He's going to work the outside. It's going to be hard around there. He's got a couple Beauty. of quick riders in front of him. Oh, Freddie Lindgren read that. Oh! 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 oh, that was a hard crash. Lindgren's gone down hard on a collar. It's uh, very disappointing for him. Um, but I think uh, concern at the moment. We're showing the replay, so I'd, I'd like to think he's OK. Yeah, he's gone down hard on his head and his neck and his shoulder. Yeah. Um, I, I do hope that we didn't show those replays too soon, because. but uh, yeah, I do um, believe he's uh, on his feet, which yeah. is great news, because yeah. that was a, an awful-looking crash. Yeah, I, I think, you know, Martin just tempted him to make the move. Um, he just didn't need to run across that hot. He really should have just stuck to his line and, and possibly would have raced him down the straight and come out. So there's it is. Drama in the final. Really good to see Freddie Lingwin making his way back into the pits. Got a feel for Martin Vashlik. He'd done a good job off the inside. That bike, to me, certainly the front wheel, but I think it was pretty much destroyed, so he's going to have to be changing bikes for the rerun. Indeed he will, but Martin Vashlik um, uh, will be a touch frustrated, but uh, nonetheless walked away. That's good to see. Uh, first thing he did, just to apologise for that move, and uh... creep around the inside. Use that that fresh bit of dirt right by the curb. Here we go then, final time of the night. Tapes are up, and Vasilik's got away pretty well on the inside. Dudex there, Bewley's having to chop back to the inside down the back straight. What an effort from Vasilik! Just been literally forced off the bike there in that clash, and he fires himself to the front. Bewley trying to get the better of Dudek, neck and neck for second place.
Sudek running wide there, locks up and that allows Bewley through. Will he respond? Yes, he does. Oh, not quite. It's really tight for second place, but wow, Martin Vasilik's showing some character here. Yeah, he is, and you can't say he doesn't deserve it. He'd made a great start in the first attempt, was leading the race comfortably. Bewley's really winding it up, but the grip is not out there for him to do his usual thing. He's now looking at oh, the inside. Bewley's oh, in the front. What a move from Dan Bewley from nowhere. Bewley hasn't made a final all season long, and he looks like in his first appearance in the final, he's going to win. Oh, he took Martin Vasilik by surprise there. No doubt about it. What a night for Dan oh, Bewley. Oh, Can't believe it. Wow, that is quite spectacular. Crept round the inside. Look, there was very little room there and just squeezed up the inside, having worked the outside for two-thirds of the race. It just seemed and, to go uh, past Back in the winner's easy. circle now for Dan Beauty, his third Grand Prix win of his career. He messed up a couple of times. He should have been in finals earlier on in the season. And in front of his home crowd on his home track here in Sweden, he picks up his first win of the year. Fantastic achievement, got a feel for Vasilik, looked like he had the win. Yeah, and he'd done so well to pick himself up after that really heavy fall. I think you're right, I think Dan Bewley just surprised him. He didn't expect the attack to be coming from the inside, but uh, great night for Dan Bewley.